Hey everyone, Cypress has a static property version which gives you a string with major, minor and with patch version of Cypress. So if we open DevTools and we log it, then we can see in this case I'm rocking 9.7.0. It's very easy to parse this version and for example confirm that it's above a certain version that you need. For example, some of the plugins require a major version of Cypress to be greater or equal to 12. So how would we parse this to confirm it? Well, we can say, okay, take this string and split it with a dot. And then you can immediately deconstruct it to major, minor, and patch, and you can log it and make it an object so that it's clearly marking each property with the key. So in this case, you can see it. And now you can confirm that, for example, the major is greater or equal to 9. You can say expect major v9, for example, to be greater than equal 9. Now this will fail because we split the string using a dot, but we still have strings. So what we want to do in this array, we want to map it so that each number is convert from a string to a number. Just one thing, make sure you don't use parse int because that will give you a surprise. Look at the minor and the patch. Let me run it again so it's by the cells. Parse int actually takes two arguments. The first is wherever is the number is a string and then the base. Now map in arrays gives you an item and then the index. So it kind of provides a base that makes the minor in this case be not a number. So I usually avoid it by just using a number because it only expects the string. Find this example and a lot more Cypress examples at myglebbachmutov.com slash Cypress examples. I will link it in the description of this video.